What's good people, it's Chunkle, and today I'll be showing you every 5 star that I shot while on uh, break, we'll call it. I have some diamonds from Call of the Wild that I shot on break as well, so keep an eye out for that video. With that said, let's get to the video, because I have a lot to show you. This first clip is of my first Greylag goose. After I spotted him without a shotgun on hand, I went back to the lodge to uh, grab a shotgun and hurried back. I just kind of suck with shotguns, so expect that to be about the gold standard of every shotgun clip. Either way, despite some confusion as to which was the right goose, I still got him. You'll notice he has uh, good genetics and scores very high, so I'm uh, pretty happy with him as my first 5 star gray leg. These next clips involve a couple of MUFON that I'd been watching, and they all kind of happen to mature around the same time. These uh, MUFON clips all took place pretty much directly after the release of the Remington pack, if you were wondering, which I know you weren't. Aside from that, I don't really have much to say about them, so I'm going to slap on some royalty-free music and let the video do the talking.
And we're back. This clip is of another fallow deer. I didn't necessarily know of this guy beforehand, but the herd I have at this spot was consistently producing five-star fallow deer before, so I, uh, I remember to check it often. I've had a history of glazing this game's models before, and I'm not about to stop now, damn it. These are the best fallow deer models in any game, and it's not even close. Aside from that, this is another pretty unremarkable 5 star. No complaints here, either way. And so this clip here is another chamois. I actually had no idea this guy was here beforehand. I was just hunting up in the mountains and spotted his herd uh, from pretty far away. So I started creeping in until I saw him coming over the ridge. Notice the bullet redirection after it goes through the chamois. I knew about it before, but never got to see it so clearly. It's kind of sick. But yeah, that's another chamois down. I'm pretty sure all of my chamois have been somewhere around the ballpark of what this guy scores, which is kind of unfortunate, but not a big deal. Moving on. This clip is of a roe deer that I'd also been watching for a while. After walking down from the cabin to check this lake, I spotted him, but had nothing to shoot him with, so I went back to the lodge. I grabbed the 223 instead of the 3030 because I remember from my last few roe deer that it was very inaccurate and also very weak. And go figure that this guy dropped in the water. But I did what I could to salvage the trophy shot. Four eighty nine is a pretty good five star row, so I'm happy with that. And the hard shot to boot. This clip is of a 5 star boar, which I'm always happy to have more of. This was my first time spotting this guy and I knew off the bat it was going to be a headache. Since boar don't have any antlers or anything otherwise noticeable, I knew this guy was basically going to try to play Where's Waldo with me using his herd. And if that wasn't bad enough, they walked into the dip that runs through the, that the river runs through, so I couldn't see them from my current vantage point, and if I tried to get close enough to see them, they'd hear me before I even got halfway there. So, after they walked into the riverbed, I just kind of had to wait an indeterminate amount of time because I forgot until I could see him. Obviously, he scored low, but a 5's a 5. This one is another boar clip. I was kind of aware of this dude's existence, but I forgot entirely up until I saw him again as a 5.
You'll notice that I already shot this porky bastard. When I shot him, I had no idea he had any potential because it was from about 700 meters and I never spotted him. By the way, go figure, this dude scores exactly the same as the last one. This final clip came completely out of nowhere. I was hunting waterfowl, testing out whether or not a scope is good on a shotgun. Spoilers, it isn't. When this guy came flying at me. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you should leave a like and sub to the channel because we've got more of this exact stuff coming weekly. These take a damn long time to edit, but I'm happy to keep putting them out as long as you guys are willing to watch. With that said, that's about it. See ya.